As I said, we're here, we're going to learn about the chiropractic lifestyle and what is different about it. So here we are with Dr. Ralph Andrade. Yes. And his wife, Julie Andrade. How are you Hi. folks today? Great. Oh, Good. sorry. Hey, nice to meet you again. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so the chiropractic lifestyle, wh what is it? I mean, we talk about it a lot. You, we need to, to look towards it. What is it in your family, for example? What is it? Well, obviously, as a, the chiro me being a chiropractor, mm -hmm. um, the chiropractic adjustment since my kids were minutes old were wow. checked. Um, it's, it's how we eat. Mm -hmm. it's, it's things we you know, things that, that we let them watch on the TV, the exercise program we do, the affirmations that we have, the mental aspect, um, how we interact with our children. Um, just, it's, it's, it's just kind of a... All encompassing. It's, yeah, everything's put together. It sounds like what people talk about all the time they should be doing. And not, it doesn't sound real different, it's just it's not more different. nutritional, mm -hmm. it sounds like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who's in charge of the nutrition? I am. Ah, you go. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> what is that when you're talking about nutrition? It's probably the same thing we talk about as well, organic. Sure, mm -hmm. and it, it's, it's the type of foods that you, you purchase. And so when I do my grocery shopping and I shop the outside aisles of the grocery store, and what that means is um, that's where we have our dairy on the outside. And the dairy I, I provide is um, mm. organic. It doesn't have the hormones. Right. And it's limited. We don't eat a lot of dairy. And then the fruits and vegetables. And then the um, protein, the lean meat. And then what you find is the deeper you go into the grocery store is where they have more of the processed junk type foods, which we, wow, you're right. we I never realized that. don't um, purchase. You don't purchase all the junk no. foods in the middle? No. Okay, no. so you, none at all. Those. There's no junk food. There are foods that we can get that mm -hmm. are like junk food, but they're healthier. And Good. so what I do is I eliminate, I won't buy anything that has the high fructose corn syrup. Nope, that's out. Hydrogenated oils, artificial sweeteners, preservatives. Mm -hmm. um, so if you eliminate those, it starts, what you do get is a small, that you have a smaller variety, but most grocery stores have the natural food section, and you can find them there. But it's reading the labels. Yes. Making sure we yes. talk about that on here quite often. Reading the labels, knowing what's going into your food or what you're putting into your body. Correct. Right. But you have an advantage over other people. You're the chiropractor, so you know right. if there's a, a little headache or whatever, you can get adjusted like that. So what? <laughs> so how would I incorporate that? How would the normal American family do that? Because it's important. Because you, you have an advantage. That's right. not fair. So I would say, number one, are you under chiropractic care now? Good. Um, what is your frequency right now? Mm -hmm. um, is it once every couple weeks? How often are you being checked? How often are your kids being checked? Yeah. You know, um, we know that the nervous system controls everything. So your immune system's better. So, True. you know, maybe less, less, less sick, you know, less mm -hmm. episodes of, you know, maybe they don't miss as much school. Um, so yeah, the, we do have an advantage, me being the, the doctor at home, but um, people can too. I mean, sure. get, get, get under your chiropractic care and bring the kids in. Let them be checked. And, and, then it's, and can I say, like when our children are having a healing crisis, that's mm -hmm. instead of being sick, it's a healing crisis. The first thing they do is they get adjusted. And then we improve their nutrition mm -hmm. even more. For example, they wouldn't have any sugar because they have limited sugar mm -hmm. on a reg on, anyway. But if they're having healing crisis, we would have no sugar and we'd increase our water and get adjusted and supplement with herbs depending on whatever's going on. Um, a lot of people think it's hard, like what do you do when your kids are sick? Um, I've, I've seen, you know, they'll go to the grocery store and they'll go, well, I'm gonna get them some 7-Up right. and I'm gonna, and all these sugars and things that are not helping their body heal. Mm -hmm. And so... That's what we were taught when we were younger. Oh, got to go to the grocery store. Look at the label. Oh, is this going to help me? You know? Yeah. But years ago, we're, I'm talking 50, 60 years ago, or even longer, they didn't go to the store. They didn't go to the drug store. They'd say, okay, they have a fever. Mm -hmm. Okay, fever, fever, start with cold, whatever. Grandma knew what to do. <laughs> grandma knew what grandma to do. Knew what to do. <laughs> That's what it was. Right? That's grandma, right. Grandma did. What would grandma do It was do so for simple. You? Oh, right. she would do this. Oh, She'd we make would make this chicken soup. Chicken, chicken soup. chicken soup. And it works. Mm -hmm. I, I swear it does. It does. But... Speaking about that and your children, we have a special guest here. I think we should bring her on. I think uh, we should bring her on and find out what it's like to live in this lifestyle. <laughs> well, let's hear it from a child's mouth. What is it like living the chiropractic lifestyle? The chiropractic lifestyle has helped me through so many things. Mm -hmm. It's helped me through healing crises. It's helped me 
learn what to eat and what not to eat. And that's going to help me when I'm off in college or in my future. That's going to help me with what's the best choice. And so some of the choices that I have today Mm -hmm. are going to be different from when I'm living on my own. And now I'm going to know since my parents have raised me in the chiropractic lifestyle, Mm -hmm. I'm going to know what I have to choose and what the best choice is going to be for me. Wow. Straight from the child's mouth. So... (laughs) Oh, so you're already looking at your future, which is great. You guys have done a wonderful job, just from what I've heard. Okay, and how old are you again? I'm 13. Wow, 13 years old. So you eat nothing but healthy food. Is that what you're telling me? No. (laughs) (laughs) Um, I'm a kid. Yes, I like sugar, but I don't have sugar all the time. Good. I I live my life with the 5 to 2 ratio. And what that means is I eat healthy five days of the week. Mm -hmm. Friday night through Sunday morning, I can have whatever I want. Friday, I like to have In-N-Out. No, not In-N-Out. Burgers (laughs) without freezers. (laughs) (laughs) So you look forward to the weekends, apparently. Yes. But, I mean, you still enjoy the foods that your your parents are providing. Am I correct? I mean, it's still good. It's good food. Your mother talked about the chips, and I'm the same way. You don't go out and get the cheapest chip. You go out and make sure those chips are healthy for you. And you like them, right? Yeah. It's not a bad thing. I like <laughs> chips that don't have a lot of unnatural flavors. Stuff. Like, I don't like MSG. It's like the flavors, the additives. It just, it yeah. doesn't. It's not good for it you. It doesn't settle on my stomach and it gives yes, me, it does. Give me yeah, really bad headaches. Because yeah. mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm not used to it. Wow. So, what about shots? Did you I, like your shots and you got your shots, your inoculations, things like that? Um, I like to say she's had all the shots she needs. What do you mean? She's, um, we've got her this far with no shots. That's our choice. Really? Yeah. And that's a good choice from everything we're hearing these days. That's well, it's kind of scary. Yeah. It there, really is. There's some kids that'll be like, oh, you didn't have your shots. Oh, well, they told us when they had my baby sister that they need their shots, otherwise they're not going to live. I'm living proof that you don't need those <laughs> shots to survive. I love it. I love it. You are just a walking poster for this. This is great. <laughs> that, no, seriously. I mean, the, reinforcing this lifestyle, and it, it's taken a while because I wasn't brought up this way at all. Either Drinking Cokes and stuff, and now I was eating the fast food and hamburgers and lots of stuff. And it's limiting what you eat as well, too. So have you always been this way? I mean, no. I mean you became a chiropractor, but right. my My life changed it was 16 years ago when I when I started to de- develop the chiropractic lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So, and it is different, and I have lost friends. Why? And why would you lose friends? I mean, well, it's because we really believe in what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Is that what it is? And well, we don't want to get on a mm-hmm. soapbox all the time. I, I understand right. that, but it's when, hard not to. When you start to make different choices, mm-hmm. or especially when you choose not to vaccinate your children, sometimes yeah. you take um, you you take criticism. And so sometimes you just have to like, just, you know, part ways. So, yeah. but it's because we truly believe we're doing the right thing. Okay. Well, I mean, it, it is tough. It's tough not to get on our soapbox because we believe in what we do. And I do it in moderation. I believe there's things like you're saying, the five to two ratio, I love it. The five to two ratio is good. So I can eat healthy. Yeah. Yeah. And then once in a while, have something here. You're gonna have, have that once there. in a while. It's what you do most of the time that counts. Mm-hmm. Always remember that. 13 years old, 13 years old, people. This is amazing. I love it. Thank you. Great information, and we should all try to live this lifestyle. Or what works best for you? At least healthy. You know, at least try it. At least try it. At least try it. it. You can improve something. That's right. You can improve something. Is it more water? Mm -hmm. Is it more vegetables? Is it less sugar? Mm -hmm. You can improve. Turn off the TV. It's not that hard. No. You can do it. And it seems to work well for you. Definitely. Thank you very much, Dr. Ralph. I appreciate it. Julie? Thank you. I love it. This is the lifestyle we need. All right, folks, this is where it is, and this is what we need to do, the chiropractic lifestyle. It's the way to go. Thanks again. I really do appreciate it. A lot of of good stuff, and you're wonderful.